I wanted to hop on to YouTube and make a video because I realized that it's been eons since my last video. Um, these are just going to be me just whenever I'm inspired to pop on and share whatever's going through my mind at the time. I have really have no specific format or anything like that, but I feel like lately I've been called to just be seen more and get out there more and share some of my knowledge to see if it resonates with anybody. So that's what I'm doing. So if any of you don't know me, my name is Justine Sanfilippo and I've been a health coach and a nutritionist for about 13 years now. And what I've realized in coaching people in all walks of life and all situations, um, first of all, it's usually not about the weight. There's usually other things involved. So I feel like I've become everyone's therapist, life coach, psychologist, you know, all entwined. And I take a very holistic point of view when, um, when working with somebody to help them get to their best selves and empower them to know that they can do it because we're all different, all of our paths are different, but it's just having that person trust their own guidance and their own intuition of what to do next and just continue to navigate them on their journey. That's what I'm really, really good at. So I've realized this lately that even though I focus on weight loss, healthy eating, healthy nutrition, healthy lifestyle, exercise, things like that, there's always just another element to it. So what I'm going to start focusing on with these videos is more about uh, just something a little bit deeper because I feel like that's a really important element to all of our journeys, no matter what what it is, whether it's, you know, career, relationships, our, our health, there's always like an extra element to it. Um, so today I just want to chat about trusting your intuition, trusting your guidance, and just knowing that there's always something there to guide you. So I feel that we all have a sixth sense in some way. Some folks may be more in tune with it than others, but I think we all have like that gut feeling, Sometimes we just know something, we need to do something. We might think of a person and they call. We might happen to pass by a sign while we're driving on the road that resonates with us. So when we start to pay attention to the guidance we're receiving, it could really make our journey a lot easier. And there's different kinds of intuition, gut feeling. Um, there's knowing. So it might be a thought, like it's just something that pops in your head, you just kind of like know something, all right? There's maybe hearing. Some people actually will hear something like outside of themselves, but sometimes it's just hearing. Maybe you happen to hear a song and, and the lyrics like kind of resonate with you at that moment. Or maybe just something pops in your head, like it's your own voice, but it's just like some other sort of guidance, like, oh, turn this way or call this person. Um, so that's called clear audience. So when the knowing, that's called clear sentient, sorry, clear cognizance. And then the hearing is called clear audience, audible, right? Um, then there's just a feeling. Sometimes you just have a feeling, either something's going to happen or a feeling that you should do something or just like, it's, this, it's just this feeling. So you just trust it, right? So that's called clear sentience. And then the last one is those thoughts, feeling, sounds, and there's one more, and it's escaping my mind right now. Um, and some of it, again, it's just like the gut feeling, right? Well, that would be the feeling one. So I'd like to get you to kind of like think in your life, when was a time where you maybe had to make a big life change or a big decision, or you kept feeling like you needed to do something or knowing you needed to do something, but you were like a little bit scared to take action with it because you didn't know what was gonna be on the other side. So I'll just share the story of how I got into health coaching in the first place. Like, how did I even know to go on this path, which I totally didn't. <laughs> so in college, I went to Notre Dame and I ended up, you know, with all the, like the studying and just, you know, college life, um, I put on a lot of weight kind of quickly, as many people in college do. And I just really felt like I, I lost my self-esteem and my confidence and just, I just really didn't know what to do with this this body that I was in because I put on about four sizes and pretty quickly. Um, and so that started, started this whole journey of trying to figure out how to lose weight 
And again, I did everything wrong, right? So at the time I was studying engineering and then I ended up majoring in the business school in information systems, which is computers, like programming, right? So it was after college, um, I worked for an IT company for a little bit and I definitely felt like I was not supposed to be there. I was an IT recruiter and I just remember, so I'm in New York, my first job out of college, right? And you have to wear the suit and everything. And I just remember the boss would like walk around our cubicles all day, kind of look at our computers and just to like check on us. It was very big brothery sort of feeling. And I, and I only lasted there six months. And every time I was going there, I just felt just like I really didn't want to go there. Like it was just like, it was just pulling the energy out of me. And, it, and even near the end of it, I would like cry before I had to go into work. So it was just so just like stifling, right? So then an opportunity came out of the blue. I knew I needed something else, but I didn't know what that was, right? So then that came, uh, what happened next is I had the opportunity to, I worked for a modeling scouting company, so like a modeling agency. So I quit the terrible job and I started with this other company and eventually I was able to like have my own business for a while. Um, but then that's sort of also like I didn't have the healthiest lifestyle because I was just go, 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 like no sleep, lots of caffeine, sugar, you know, energy drinks would work out, but I really didn't know what I was doing. So it was after that opportunity needed to, um, I just needed to, to close the business at a certain point. Again, that knowing, like I knew I needed to take action and I didn't know the next step, but I just knew I had to do something at a certain time. So it was after that where I was really doing some soul searching, like what do I really love? I mean, I love the modeling industry. It was so much fun. And then I also really loved trying to be healthy because I, I was exercising, but I didn't know anything about nutrition. So that's when I decided to go to nutrition school and become a certified health coach. I had just just scrolling online and happened to find this site that led me to this other site. And at this time I was just becoming more in tune with like just paying attention to guidance. Like I've always believed in God. I've grown up, you know, Christian and like, I've always trusted that that was there, but I just never, I felt like I put it to the side for a little bit. And then suddenly I was realizing that yes, there is something there guiding us. Whatever your beliefs are is fine, but even if you feel it's like your own gut feeling, like there's always something there, right? Um, we're not just completely just floating in space and <laughs> we have something to guide us. So that's when I became a certified health coach. But in the school, I remember they were already wanting us to start to health coach other people. And I, this is a year long program and I just signed up and I was like really uncomfortable in my body. And I had this thing where I would like eat too much one day and starve myself the next day. And I was just like a disaster when it came to a relationship with food. I had a not healthy relationship with food whatsoever. Um, and then they wanted us to start coaching people. I was like, wow, I really don't know anything. I mean, I could barely help myself, but they really encouraged that. So I took the leap and I started with just doing some coaching sessions with some friends and some family, you know, just kind of get my feet wet a little bit. And, um, the feedback was that whatever advice I was giving them was helpful. It's like, okay. Now while I'm helping, starting to help others, I was also learn, implementing everything I was learning in the nutrition school and applying it to my own life. And I did start to heal my relationship with food. And I also realized it's not all about just food. It's everything else, that holistic point of view. So as I started to learn more about um, just, you know, how to be healthier from the inside out and kind of like building my confidence with health being other people. Eventually I had a women's gym. So that was fun to have my a business. And um, what I decided to do is I offered all of the members one free health coaching session with me. And I also started to write for the local newspaper. I had an article each week. Um, yeah, so that was in New Jersey. And it was so much fun. And again, it was just like building my confidence. So with each session I did with each woman, even if it was just one session, I noticed that it drastically helped them. I mean, drastically. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm kind of good at this. And with anything, you know, if you keep practicing it, you get better and better. But also I was just building my own confidence and seeing the results pretty quickly with these ladies. 
So now, you know, fast forward many years later, I have a master's in nutrition. I've been health coaching people for a really long time. I also I do health coaching on my own, and I also work for an amazing company. Um, and now I just know that it's time to take the coaching to the next level, right? Like, what is that soul level? Like, what is that deeper thing that I can help people with to navigate them on their journey in life? Because whether, I mean, surely I've had all sorts of um, relationships, some of which have not been healthy whatsoever, you know, how did I navigate out of those? How did I find a healthy relationship that's loving and supportive and, you know, the best thing ever? Um, how do you navigate that? Even with career, with all the different jobs I had, how have I ended up at the one I'm at now, right? So it's all about just trusting your guidance and just trusting that you're not alone. I think a lot of times we feel like we're all alone and we just have to navigate this big world just by ourselves, but that's not true. We have, I mean, there's, you know, billions of people and even if you don't have tons of friends, that's okay. It's always good to have a good core group of folks. It could be just, a, it could be one friend. It could be one family member you're close to. It could just be like, you know, just a few people that's your core group, right? I've heard that like the five people you surround yourself the most, um, you know, it's sort of a reflection of where you are in your life. So if you're with really supportive people, that's awesome. If you typically hang around people that aren't the most supportive of you, maybe it's time to sort of shift your circle a little bit. But I just know that, um, yeah, it's just time to take things to that, to that next level. So I would encourage you over this next week or so to start to pay attention to the guidance you're receiving. Whatever it is you're going through in your life, whatever you're trying to figure out the next step of, trust that it's going to show up and trust that you're continually guided. So just look for those signs. It could be songs, it could be license plates, it could be a thought, it could be something you read in a magazine, it could be anything. But just, I want you to start trusting that and I'd love to hear how that helps you. So that's my latest video. I'll be popping on to do some more and I'll talk to you soon.